Hello and welcome there. This time we're going to be looking at using SQL Map to do error based uh, techniques in order to exploit weaknesses in a particular form. Uh, this is the form that we're looking at, this user lookup form here. Now this is open to numerous different attacks, but as we haven't covered error based attacks before, what we're going to do is give that a go and see what we come up with. So let's start our command here. So let's run SQL map pointing at that URL here. Uh, we're going to put in the argument of forms because we have forms. And we're going to specify the technique as error based. Uh, I'm also going to do minus minus flush dash sessions and what that will do flush session flush session and what that does is it means that the last session that I've already done previously won't um, it won't take it from that file so it's going to be a, a fresh start so you get to see it from start to finish okay so we've run that the first thing it's coming back to us is telling us that it's found the field and is this the form we want to test so yes it is um, do we want to edit the get data so we have the default which is what is what is pulled page equals user dash info dot php and username equals and password equals and user dash info dash php submit dash button equals view account details so just hit enter on that we don't need to change that do you want to fill in blank fields with random values yes let's try that okay so immediately it has found or what it, what it thinks it's found is the get parameter for page that might be vulnerable to cross site scripting and then looks again at the parameter for page so at the moment it doesn't know what database it is because we haven't specified because we're imagining that we don't know so we follow that down a bit more. It's trying MySQL, then PostgreSQL, Microsoft SQL Server, Oracle, MySQL. And then it tells us that the page is not injectable. So that's a perfect example of something that will come up and tell you that something is might not be injectable. So this um, parameter of page, it says might not be injectable. Then it says it, it it might be vulnerable, and then it decides it's not. So don't just assume because you're seeing this. It immediately means that it is vulnerable because sometimes, as we see here, it doesn't. Okay, so now it finds the parameter of username to be potentially injectable, and also realizes that the database is most likely MySQL, which in our case we know is correct. Then we do look at another cross-site scripting uh, potential vulnerability with the parameter of username. After testing the parameter of username, it looks like the, the backend database is MySQL. Do we want to skip other payloads? Yes, we do. For main test, do you want to include all tests for MySQL extending level one and risk level one? That is, yes. Make that a bit bigger. Okay. okay. So the parameter username is vulnerable to some form of injection or to error-based injection, and we know the MySQL version is equal to or greater than version five, where having order by or group by clause injectable. So it's now pretty confident that the username is vulnerable. Do you want to skip? other tests and concentrate on this one yes okay once again that this vulnerability with the parameter of password is very likely to be injectable with basic and cross-site scripting okay and it's just asking me the same question again so that's yes on that 
so it's now just running MySQL based um, uh, looking for vulnerabilities on just MySQL and not all, all the different ones like it has done here let me just select in MySQL Okay, so after that we've found two different parameters. Right, so this error based with the parameter of username in the username box and parameter of password. Both seem to be vulnerable based on this payload that pulls this section followed by the query up to here. Okay, so because there's multiple injection points, which one do we want to do? So do we want to look at the first one or the second one? So let's, say, let's look at the first one, zero. Do we want to exploit it? Absolutely. Yeah, and it's pulled back the banner and said that we're using Linux, Debian, Apache version 2.4.10, which is the latest, and um, MySQL version five. Okay. So we don't need to have flush session anymore. So now let's do that to the sink and let's say pull back the database with minus minus DBS. Oh, actually, I'm just going to cancel that, clear the screen, and say minus minus DBMS, which is our backend database, is my SQL. Okay, it's the same again. Do we want to use the field? Yes. Do we want to change the get parameters? No, we don't. Do we want to fill in the blanks with random values? Yes. Boom. And straight away we find our two um, form fields that are injectable with the parameters of password and username. So we go user. Um, let's go with zero. So our password field. We want to exploit it? Yes, we do. Um, there we go. We can see we have pulled back the databases. So let's do the same thing again. Do you want to test this form? Yes. Do you want to change values? No. Do you want to fill in the blanks? Yes. It's time to do it with one. And see if we get the same results. Do you want to exploit it? Yes, we do. And the same thing again. Okay. So now let's say. don't enumerate databases and let's go minus capital D the database is called no wasp and we want to put out tables so minus minus tables want to test it yes do you want to change to get data no do you want to run data yes let's go with zero do you want to exploit it yes we do and now we're pulling back all the tables so all the tables for the database no wasp has 13 tables and here they are so let's see what's inside the accounts uh, tables so we don't want it to enumerate tables anymore so say minus capital T for table is called accounts and let's enumerate the columns minus minus columns okay you want to test the form yes to change the the get data no, do want to fill with random data, yes, let's go with zero, do you want to exploit it, yes we do. Fantastic, so now we've got CID, first name is admin, last name, my signature, password, and username. So get rid of minus minus columns, minus capital C, what columns do we want? First name, comma, to put comma in between each um, column that you're selecting. So first name, last name, uh, username, password is underscore admin, my signature. And with this one, you have to have minus minus dump on the end for it to display the columns. 
So same questions again. Do you want to test fill? Do you want to change get data? Do you want to fill in blanks? Yes, we do. Let's choose zero. Do you want to exploit it? Yes, we do. As you can see, it's enumerating all of the information from all of the columns that we've asked it to. And there we are. We now have all of our database enumerated. I hope that helped. Um, leave any comments if you need any more information. I can highly recommend um, using OWSP like this in a test environment. It's nice and fast. You can do all of the testing you need to do and it's bang up to date. So have fun.